applied base coat, in this case, Wraith Bone Spray, paint the entirety of the armor through Shabti Bone. In the case of this color, it's quite light, so you can overspill onto the other areas without much of a concern, or if you airbrush it, do the entirety of the model in this color. Recess shade the entire armor with snake bite leather contrast paint. The color choice here is a bit of a compromise. Snake bite leather is quite dark, which means the re recesses are going to look quite pronounced and therefore gives a better overall effect. The problem with this is any overspill is a bit more difficult to correct. And you'll see that in the next couple of stages that it will take a while to get this back to pristine armor. Um, the other option would be something like wash the entirety of the model and then maybe dry brush it to bring up the colors. Um, I just happen to quite like the effect this gives. Just to be aware, it does take quite a lot of time. Paint any areas to be either black or silver or metallic with black legion contrast. I find them using black legion contrast a lot more commonly now than say something in black and black. I find the coverage out of the pot is easier than diluting a black and black down. If you're using this as a base color for any areas, you probably need two layers or maybe overpaint with another black. But in this case, the black areas are quite unassuming. It's things like the undersuit and the other areas are going to be painted over metallic paint anyway. Um, so I find just black legion is my new go-to. Pick out the chest color with Caliban Green base coat. Base coat, the barrel of the gun with Mephiston Red. Over black, this will take several coats to give a smooth, uh, vibrant finish. Also in this example I've chosen to make the purity of wax red as well, so pick this out with fist and red at the same time. Base coat any of the crux terminatus with Mechanica standard grey. any areas to be a silver metallic with iron hand steel so namely the metallic areas on the gun any of the piping any of the metallic areas on the armor and the vents on the back um, some of these areas you can just use as a kind of a semi dry brush particularly in the vents in the back whereas other areas you want to cover the entirety um, which will be dulled down with the wash at a later stage Pick out any purity seal parchment with flayed one flesh.
pick at the symbol on the side of the gun with retributor armor, the winged skull, I suppose. There's also a skull on this particular model's right kind of forearm, so I've done that in a gold colour as well. Any areas that you feel to be more apt to be gold and silver, paint them with this colour. And at this stage, there's enough of the base coats down that tiling up the armour would be the next step. So basically what you're doing is you're going around the entirety of the model again, unfortunately, picking out any areas where there's been overspill of the snake bite leather. Um, again, for something like troops, even if you're doing this option, maybe you don't need to spend a huge amount of time on it. But seeing as there's only really five Terminators in a squad, I think it's worthwhile doing. Um, you may have better luck than me in being neater with the contrast paint in the first step. Basically, the neater you are at that stage, the shorter this one is. Um, but do take your time in any areas where there's a lot of overspill. You may require two coats of thin to shabby bone. Um, I would say it'd be worth it, particularly as I say, if you're doing this for something like a character or a squad leader. Now shade any of the green areas, so on the chest plate, any of the metallic areas, or rather metallic silver areas, and any of the crux terminatus symbols with null oil. In addition, pick out things like the rivets on the red gun barrel with this colour as well. This is much quicker than shading the entirety of the red to have to bring it back up in a later step. Shade the gold areas with dark gold flesh contrast. Shade, the purity seal, wax and parchment with Irax art shade. Painting the chest eagle then is a two step process, but unfortunately the first step didn't record, which would be using warp stone glow to pick out all the raised detail, only leaving the shaded green colour in the deepest recesses. The second step then is going on to use moot green to pick out smaller areas, so the outside half of say the wing shapes and the raised detail on the skull. To be honest, as you look at this model, you could probably just get away with the warp stone glow phase, um, it looks quite good. Um, the addition of moot green makes it slightly more cartoony or more saturated, I quite like it but there's an easy argument to be made to just do one colour and, and leave it at that. First step highlight for the grey is to pick out all the raised detail with Dawnstone just leaving the shaded colour visible in the deeper recesses.
A second highlight of a millisatum grey then was completed, which is a more refined highlight covering a smaller area again so that there's a sequence of dark to light grey over the course of the crux dermatitis. Edge highlight the red areas of the gun with wild rider red. Um, most of the areas you can pick out with the edge of the brush, but there's a couple of areas in the side of the barrel where you just need to just draw straight lines, and you can always overcorrect spill with the infused in red afterwards. Also, pick out the rivets on the gun in this color. Pick out dot highlights on the sharpest corners of the barrel and on the rivets using Fire Dragon Bright. Paint the raised parts of the black undersooth with Mechanica Standard Grey. paint the glowing lens effects on the shoulder sensor array I suppose. Uh, first pick out the entirety of the lens with a fist in red. Pick up a smaller area of the centre of this with diluted Evil Sun Scarlet. Pick out a more focused area again then with diluted fire dragon bright. Uh, diluting down the colours allows them to kind of blend into each other so it looks more like a subtle transition than kind of concentric circles. Dot the centre then of the lenses with Uriel Yellow. Pick out all the raised detail on the purity seal wax, just leaving the recessed colour visible in between the raised areas of the periphery and then as a kind of a circle between the outer and inner sides of the or inner parts of the purity seal wax. Um, take your time with this step, you want to make the minimal recesses that remain to look a lot darker than the rest of the wax. Pick out a more refined edge highlight then in the same areas using Evil Sun Scarlet. Pick up dot highlights of the purity wax right at the most prominent corners with Fire Dragon Bright. Paint the majority of the parchment now with Fade One Flesh again. Um, you're really only wanting this in the deepest recesses to not be painted over, so kind of between the front and back parchment, and also paint in horizontal stripes to add the impression of texture. Pick up the raised edges of the parchment, kind of really just the sharpest corners and the really prominent folds with Pallid Witch Flesh. the shell casings of the storm bolter using screaming bell mm -hmm. 
edge highlight all of the silver areas using Stormhole Silver. I find edge highlighting silver kind of tricky because unless it's a really fine edge highlight, it just kind of looks off. So take your time with it. Um, minimal paint on the brush. Make sure the paint isn't too thinned down and just to catch the most prominent of edges. Pinch highlight the gold areas then with Liberator Gold. Pinch highlight the armor with Pallid Witch Flesh. So really all the raised corners and edges in true space marine heavy metal style. Um, I'm a big fan of this look, it just it's not the quickest, there's no real shortcuts to it. Um, obviously if there's any sharp edges where you can use the side of the brush, you're better off doing it and really take your time. I would say it's something that it isn't a character. If you stick to things like the faces and the areas that will draw the attention, you'll save a good bit of time. Um, I've just shown a bit more footage as this goes on about how to do the varying kind of corners and edges. And always you can go back and correct with Ushabti Bone any of the lines that end up being too thick or any overspill. The eyes first pick out the entirety of the lens with corn red and making sure you can still see the snake bite letter surround in the recesses. Pick out about two thirds of the front of the lens with Mephiston red. Pick up about half of what remains then using Evil Sun Scarlet. Then the smaller again, pick up with Fire Dragon Bright. Dot the very front of the lenses then with Uriel Yellow. Pick out dots of white at the back of the lens to finish. And with the same logic as a cartoon coyote, paint black circles where the bullets come out of the gun. Yeah, you could of course drill the barrels, but I didn't. And if you don't do this, it just looks wrong. And this is the finished result. If you like this video, feel free to check out the channel where I have numerous other painting tutorials. Um, and if you want to be kept up to date with content, um, please subscribe. As I say, any support like that certainly motivates to make more videos.